The difficulty has ramped up this chapter. We have seven kingdom quests to complete along with the main quest to um, sort of the feud along, um, among some lords out in the outskirts of our lands. And we have 54 days to do it. But we also have two, I think, personal quests to complete. I think we're gonna start with Signy and unlock her top level. There you are! Whew. So glad I found you guys. Hey. Did something happen, Ellie? You wanted me to look into some stuff for Signy, remember? Well, I went through some books on the subject of the Kalra. Also totems, animal cults, folk beliefs, ritual dances, travel recommendations, astral projections, spiritual euphorias, phobias, out-of-body experiences, past life syndromes, feral regressions, cake recipes. I mean, a few of these don't really fit the theme. <laughs> but I think I found something. See, the Keldra did not keep themselves completely to the Dead West. There were a couple of splits and disagreements, and it appears some of the less orthodox branches may have moved to Rashtil. They've all died out by now, but they've also left something behind. Or rather, an account of something, or a memory, or something. It's very cryptic. Explain, please. There's a place somewhere deep in the Festerlands that they used to call the Cave of Trials. That particular branch believed that each of and every one of them had to confront their destiny inside, and each experience made them come back changed. Confront their destiny, huh? Sure, much of it is the usual vague spooky scary stuff, but apparently they've never abandoned their links with their totemic beasts. They claim that every Kalra was being called by something old and primal from within the cave. Thanks, Ellie, that's pretty cool. Hi. Nice. Let's go, Signy. Well, what do you think? It sounds promising, doesn't it? <sighs> I am confused. Will that help me find my beast? I believe so, yes. At the very least, it's worth a shot. Then the course is set, and the path is chosen. Will the duckling accompany me? Sure. Of course I will. I'm glad. Let us face it together, then. Alright. Another quest for us. Sweet. Now, is Miri available? She is not. Uh, not Miri, but Alice, rather. Because she is also ready to get to the, uh, the next Bond quest. But we also... It's been a long time since we recruited her, and we haven't really gotten to know her yet. She's still... Not even able to um, do her thing, which is trinkets. So let's get to know Winter. Ah, home sweet home. Hello, my darlings. Thanks for that. Right. Uh, thank you for helping me out on my rock gathering walk. I appreciate it. Okay. Sweet. No problem. Wait. It's been some time since I moved in. I suppose we will have to get properly acquainted, right? I mean, you already know me, but you've never met my friends. Are your rock are your friends rocks? Yeah, look at them. That's probably your friends. Yep. <laughs> Aren't they cute? This one's Steve, and this one's Jean, and this one's Brian. Say hello to Lord K, guys. Uh, your your friends are rocks. Actually, I'm gonna play along. Hey! hey! Yeah, you love that! Ah, I feel like we'll all get along just fine. Boulder by the minute! Boulder by the minute. Nice one, Winter. But this is just the beginning. I will let things get stale. The collection will only get bigger and better. Aren't you afraid you'll run out of space? Funny that you mention it. I've wanted to talk about it too. You don't have anything against hypothetical radical refurnishes, right? It's your house. 
Oh, heard that, fellows? We were given free reign. Oh, what fun we shall have together. You'll come visit from time to time, right? Great. So, uh, I'm gonna excuse myself now, okay? I still need to paint some faces for the newcomers. Let's paint them together. What? Seriously? You'd like to? Right, right. Awesome! Let's get to it! She's a bit peculiar, but I like her. And that should have unlocked the crafting of regular trinkets. I would like to um, craft. So, you right now can use or make these. Not that good. So maybe we'll have to unlock better crafting. I would also like to um, upgrade Gunther's stock pretty soon. Maybe we'll have the enough ingredients after another dungeon. So I think we're gonna head out. And I think we also got a missive while we um, progress into the next chapter. Oh, we've actually had more missives on Lord Marinchedu versus these guys. Let's, uh, maybe we'll unlock another one if we do this one. Maybe. Dear Lord Lauren, I'm writing to you from the village of India's Rest. I doubt you would have heard of us. We are but one of many river settlements on the way to the Biting Sea. You know the type, I'm sure. It's all about us the biggest mill around. Anyway, back to business. An elven ship was spotted near the villages far up the stream, prompting us to go into high alarm. However, here's where the tale gets weird. Apparently, this particular coterie, they call themselves the Elkhart, I believe, insists on methodically approaching each individual village along the river course. Not for the purpose of raiding, too, but for striking some nonsensical deals. And believe me, I'm dead serious when I write it's nonsensical. Who in the right mind would want to trade for cobwebs and a ball of twine? Here we don't even know what to think any anymore. Uh, it's just crazy. Can you help us out with this? Right now, all I hope is that this message can reach you. I mean, why wouldn't they be able to trade? How is our standing with these people right now? If I check the Kingdom quest, there is actually a level 2. Shadow or Lordmar, Alfheimer or the Empire. So, we should be trying to reach level 2 with one of them. For one of our quests. Where's the diplomacy screen? Level 2 will grant us... Stash of Elven Trinket or Stash of Imperial Trinkets. Let's let them trade, I think. They haven't really hurt anyone. Yes. Reputation increased. Alright, the Prince's Guide. I'm writing this out of... Not out of petty self-interest, but out of the sense of duty to the noble institution that you represent. While I cannot be considered an impartial party in this matter, I implore you to wait your following course of action... Uh, ...carefully. I have found a rather unusual foundling hiding in my study, a young girl. She is the Royal Highness Wilhelmina, Princess of the Kingdom of Lordmar, second daughter to the incumbent Ro Lord Reynald IV. This child, barely 15 of age, here, and she wants to learn magic from me. I have no idea how she ended up in Rashdil, nor what were her reasons for escaping. But, of course, the um, Lordmar want them... want her back. What was our standing with them? I gotta check again. I think we have... Level... If we get to level 3, we can actually recruit Henrietta. I do like the sound of that. But we could also get more trinkets from the Shadurian stash. But I want to recruit Henrietta, see what she has to offer. But... Mm, I mean, I feel like the, the right thing to do, though... Is the Shadurian in this case? If she's there, she uh, can study. Done. Sorry, Lordemar. 
That got us another quest. We are now at 1617. I really hope that the um, overflow from the last chapter counts. So we are two out of seven. Maybe. I hope I hope so. Alright. Let's see if we can venture forth. Okie doke. We have a few quests to do. We have the feud. Is that the feud over there? That's the Yuya Tsar Pits. Where's the feud? Where is the feud? Oh, it's over there. No, that's the Cave of Trials. Where's the main quest then? Complete quest, the feud. Where is it located? Uh, pay them a visit. I mean, it doesn't really say. A place to settle their grudges. Go to the meeting place. Where is the meeting place? It should be marked. Oh, it's right there. But let's get... This done, maybe? Although if we go over here, it's kind of close by to a dungeon which we could explore and finish out. Yeah, let's go do Theo's quest first. Venture forth into the Jua Tar Pits. Pungent pools of dark bubbling muck seep through the pores of the earth, creeping around the land like festering clots or clots of glue. Without a doubt, this must be the place Theo told you about, the Yuya Tar Pits. Yuck indeed. Although, to be fair, not everyone seems to mind the microcosm of stench and ooze. Beneath a dead willow tree, partially submerged in a large pool of tar, you see a troll. And a pretty relaxed one at that. To add insult to injury, he appears to be wearing a small shower cap. Uh... Say hi to the troll. Your slow approach, largely marred by constant attempts to at not drowning in lethally sticky goo, does not go unnoticed by the troll. He offers you a friendly, somewhat mellow wave. Hey, you here for a bath too? Uh, my friend sent me for hair gel. Do you know where I can find some? Hair gel? As in gooey stuff to put on your head? Well... He just is at the tar pools. Why not the tar pools? It's an adhesive, right? But wait, if you're afraid it'll burn your scalp out or something... Yes? Well, see, our skin isn't exactly like yours. When us trolls bathe, we tend to shed plenty of grime and fat and sweat and other oily stuff. I don't know the fan's name, sorry. Anyway, my point is, it tends to mix with that tar like something fierce. Look for tan clumps around the pools. That stuff, that's exactly what you need. Okay. I know, right? Mother Nature is amazing. In any case, I hope you'll find what you need. Look around the southwestern pools. There are no traces of activity. A golden ring rests on a skeletal hand that sticks out of the mire. I want that ring. I got a ring! Look around the eastern pools. Soaked in sore, you seriously doubt whether you can find a better candidate for extra strong hair gel. Grab it. Yay! So we got a ring of swamped lightning. Less initiative but more movement. And a piece of muck. Neat! Alright, now. Let's head down to Savior Falls and do a dungeon. Welcome to Savior's Falls! It's gonna take six days to complete. Let's start with a combat node. Survive for eight turns. Everyone must survive, be the first to deal damage. That seems doable. So if it's a survival race, we definitely want K and we definitely want Levant. So let's plonk 
Levant down here, along with Theo. And let's plonk you down, Sig, along with K. Wait, what? Oh, you, I've got to put you there. Dang it. Theo, get on the pink one. There we go. What do you have here? They're gonna get reinforcements, but if we could take them down a notch, that would be swell as well. But I definitely want to keep buffing with K, because this is a survival scenario. And we should probably try to, like, barricade ourselves in here. Unless they have magic, which they might have. Hammerfall? Prats. Ignoring obstacles. But I tr I want to try to get in here. Yes, yes. Now I could go on the offensive with Sig, but I also want to go and group up. Let's see what they do. So that's sort of a pounds. Oh, they do silence as well if it hits. Something wicked this way comes. Can I not line of sight? I would like to do this. And then I would like to end. You are silenced. Well, move on in there then. Oh, they are getting reinforcements. Now, if I can get Levant to get unsilenced, I can block one of these passages with uh, his shield ability. So that's going to be real good. Well, let's give her more shields. Right at you. And then move on in here. On the prowl. Sig, I would like you to whirlwind. <laughs> And then move on in here. Ouchies! Wait, did you just ignore armor with that attack? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. That is an issue. Because my... Oh, my little strategy was to buff up with armor. I guess my strike is gonna have to be kill and immobilize. So, for example, if we do... Could you blind? How many can I hit? Only two. But I will get that blind. Let's do that. And then head in there. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Do not presume too much. And I would like you to head on in here. And put down this. Right over here. That should block their path. Unless the line of sight goes through this little gap here. Which I hope not. Now you gotta go. You're too close for comfort. So let's focus her down. Jackpot. She resisted weakened. On the prowl. That is rude. I don't think I can kill you in this turn. I could do this. Hmm. Yeah, let's take her out. That's good. And then I want to stay there. <laughs> we did it! Survived for eight rounds. We only got one of the um, challenges I forgot to do with the uh, first damage. 
We got a Necklace of the Third Eye and a Guardian's Ward. Neat.